Hello and welcome to another of our little quick uh, skill lessons and this one is about calculating intervals on a scale. It's something that you might come across a lot. You wonder to yourself, what is a scale? Well, a scale is a way of measuring something, okay? It could be measuring length, um, it could be about uh, weighing the weight of something. See, there are all sorts of numbers that are moving on my scale. Um, it could be to do with the volume or capacity uh, of a liquid or a gas. And your spot, and it's quite hard to see on here, it might be a little bit easier to see uh, on here, that there are lots of numbers on these scales that represent different values or amounts. So obviously, uh, in this particular instance, it's the weight of it, whether it be in grams or ounces. And for this, it's the, the volume, which is generally in Britain measured in millilitres or litres. And this one here, which of course is the length, which is generally in centimetres or metres, although of course we do still use miles and feet to measure people. So, when I see a scale, I generally might not see all of the numbers on that scale. For example, on here I've got zero, one. Well, I can make a pretty good prediction about what's going to come onto this scale. If the distance between here is one, then this is going to be another one, which would be two, and that's going to be another one, which is three. Maybe my scale only shows up to two, and I've got to kind of make a guess about what on earth could that missing number be? Hmm, how am I going to do it? Well, actually, in this particular circumstance, it's quite easy, isn't it? The missing number between zero and two is one. But what if my numbers were a little bit harder? For example, up here, um, I might have a six uh, down here. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have a, a ten. Let's start with this one. How on earth am I going to work out what that missing point on my scale is? What I'd like you to do is have a little discussion with your partner and pause the video now. So, what you would have hopefully thought is, yeah, this looks like it's halfway between these two numbers, and you could think to yourself, what is half of 10? Well, half of 10 is five. Let's see if this works. From here to here is five. Add another five, here to here, 10. Oh yeah, that works. Actually, if I carry this scale on further, I would probably work out that each point on this scale was going to be five. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, and so on. Okay, nice. Uh-oh, what about up here? Now this is suddenly a little bit trickier because I don't have a halfway point. What on earth am I going to do to work out this one? Well, how many points do I have from zero? Zero, I've got one, two, three points on my scale. I need to somehow share six into three equal groups. Ah, I could go six divided by three, which equals, pause, two, because I know that two times three equals six. Use the inverse to help me, yeah? If I'm saying six divided by three, I'm saying three times what equals six? Three times two. So each of these points must be worth two. Zero, two, four, six. Ah, that works pretty well, doesn't it? Okay, shall we try that one more time? And then I'm gonna let you have a go at some possible uh, ideas. Okay, I'm gonna put the 30 down here. And now I've got a, a nice big scale. I'm going to make this one a little bit more complicated. I'm using different methods for both of these to work it out. So, always easier if I've got a halfway point to work out, isn't it? Ah, this one's got a halfway point between 0 and 12. What's half of 12? It's 6. Ah, okay, this must be going up in 6s. 0, 6, 12, 18, 24. Nice one. What about this one? Now, it's not got a halfway point, but there are three, one, two, three points on it. What is 30 divided by 3 equals 10. So each of these must be 10, 20, 30. Yeah? I mean, I could have done any selection of numbers. Right, this is your little task now to do with your partner. I have put a number on to this scale here. Scales don't always go horizontally, by the way. Sometimes they go vertically as well. Vertical means straight down, horizontally, horizontal, straight across. Um, there's a video all about lines if you want to have a look onto the maths playlist. What I'd like you to do, I've got A, B, and C. I'd like you to come up with three alternative scales that each of these could show, okay? 
class style going up. There are three different what what three different options could I have on this? Because there's no right or wrong answer to this. So have a little go, pause. Alright, let's have a look. Well, if this bottom point had been zero, that would have meant that each of these jumps is 200. 200, that would be 400, making that one 600. Yeah, that one's fine, isn't it? Um, how about I make each of the jumps, well that was 200, I'll make each of the jumps 100. So 100 there, 200, 300, 400. Oh, nice. Uh, what if I make the jumps, it could be anything really, it could be 50, couldn't it? So if I'm going down 50, that would be 150. If I'm going up 50, that would be 250. That would be 300. Okay, lots of different options there. Making sure though that the intervals and the scale are equal distances apart. Okay, what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna leave a quick challenge for you on the board to do at home. I've got a few of these ready for you. And you are going to email me in the answers to each of these different scales, okay? Some of them have definite answers, things they must be. Others, like this one for example, have lots of different answers, different things that those scales could possibly show. So here are all your scales. I'm just going to label them because you're going to pause this video afterwards. We've got A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Pause the video, work them out, send them in. Go.